All right, joining us now, a voice that you probably know. Maybe you speak to her, if you will, on a daily basis. Susan Bennett, the real life uh, woman behind the voice of Siri. Welcome. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> I was hoping you might do something <laughs> like that. When you are out and about, you know, shopping or, or wherever, and people hear your voice, do they perk up, say, wait a minute, I know that voice from somewhere? They really don't. It's only happened one time. Really? And I think it's because, out of context, you don't expect to hear the Siri voice unless it's coming out of your phone or your tablet. But there was a, a banker. I went into uh, my bank, and I was opening an account or something, so I spoke to one of the guys at the desks, you know, instead of the, the teller, and he said, Boy, your voice sounds familiar. And I thought, <laughs> really? And he said, yeah, we just got this iPhone. And I thought, I said, you don't need to be in banking. You need to be in some sort of audio production yes. because you've got great ears. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. most people can't, can't really hear it. And, and you're the voice for a lot of different things. We'll talk about those in just a little bit. But, of course, Siri was the big one. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, upstate New York native? Well, I spent junior high and high school in Clinton, New York, uh -huh. which is between Utica and Syracuse. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Atlanta home for you now. Yes. Okay. I've been there many years. And the nice thing about your craft is you can probably do it from most anywhere. Yes. Nowadays you can do it from anywhere. Yes. That's literally. nice. Yeah. So how many years ago did you get some project that was ended up being this? That ended up being Siri. Yes. Well, the original recordings were done in July of 2005 for a text-to-speech company. And those of us, there were many original series worldwide, which I don't think people realize, but no. you know, I don't speak Thai or Japanese <laughs> or anything. So even though they're taking uh, sounds and reforming them into sentences, that's what goes on to the, the devices. It's, it's much better to have a native speaker actually saying certain words and to make it sound more human. And uh, so the original recordings were done then. We, we knew that it was going to be some sort of phone messaging but we had no idea it was going to be a persona. You know, there's a big difference between the voice that just says, you know, the time is, or the phone number is, please press one, and hi, how are you doing today? You know, it's, so it was a real uh, surprise. Uh, how, now, how, I wonder how it works. You, you mentioned just a little bit. I mean, how many phrases did you actually lay down? There were thousands. Really? Yeah, because what they were trying to do is get every sound combination in the language. And then afterwards, technicians and computers, of course, go into the recordings, extract sounds, reform them into new phrases and sentences. And this process is called concatenation. It's, it's absolutely astounding. Wow. Yeah. And so we had to read some pretty crazy things. <laughs> 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 Made no sense at all uh, at times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, people ask, of course, Siri, some, some pretty crazy questions. Are you ever? Do you ever just sit and listen to the, how your voice ever comes together? Not really. No. It was kind of a creepy thing. <laughs> for yeah, when when Siri first came out, and you know, I would talk to her, and my voice would come out of this little machine. It's like. I was used to hearing myself on radio and TV commercials and that sort of thing. Uh -huh. And I'm the, the voice of Delta Airlines Gates Worldwide, which still every once in a while takes me <laughs> a, a back. It's like, oh, yeah, there I am. Um, <laughs> but coming out of this little machine and, and being called someone else, that was weird. So do you use Siri? I don't. You don't? No. no I really don't. I tell people, you know, I talk to myself enough as it is. <laughs> 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 well, you're here. We want to mention this because you'll be uh, 7 o'clock tonight at the Tower Fine Arts Center main stage at the uh, College of Brockport. 7 o'clock. It is free and it is open to the public. So uh, we're going to take a break. But when we come back, I want to know a little bit about what you're going to speak about tonight that okay. people are invited to. Sure. And you have some really interesting stories from um, your history in the business. So we're going to take a break. But back with Siri slash Susan right after this. <laughs>